I like how I haven't even started the stream yet and Vega's already AFK. Good shit. Good fucking shit. Oh. <sighs> Come get some! Thank you very much, Pot Noodle, for finally fucking subscribing. Mucho love. Hang on a second. Sup for. Oh, the lamp's not on. Oh, hang on. Eh. Yeah, let there be light. Ugh. You play Zelda on League Day 2 or only on off days? Mainly off days is, what, is the aim that I'm going for with the Zelda thing. If there is space, time, and Fridays. That's basically it. All right, what's up, folks? Name's Rec. I'm a coach. And this is The Roast. How you fucking doing? I'm just going to fix my camera. There we go. Can't wait to burn this bin and get high off the fumes. That's all right, man. You can do whatever you like with it, you fucking weirdo. Anyway, Vega's already done the, the run to thing. No surprise there. But yes, thank you very much, Pot Noodle, for the sub. Welcome to the Binhead Army. Who even subs to this mold? What's this mold shit? Can you explain something? What is this mold shit that people are talking about? Someone explain it? I have no idea. If anyone can explain it for me, it would be lovely. Anyone? Manly and bald? I mean, that's perfectly correct. I'm very manly and very bald. So, what the fuck does... What, is, what does it mean? Oh, Twist, hit me with the details. The fuck does it even mean? And do I have to ban you for it? Oh. Alright. He hasn't explained. Alright, we're just going to leave it there. He just hasn't said shit with his leave. <laughs> just going to stay in the bin, chat. Your mold, bro, been spamming in Twitch. Yeah, but what does that mean? Molding is a condition originating from Uganda, where the patient zero was found. It is often described as a human version of molding. Certain tobacco products like snus are said to enhance the effects of molding. It basically means you're losing your hair. It does not mean you're losing your hair. According to this, it actually means that you're literally molding. That doesn't make it any better. My skin is beautiful, thank you very much. Just ask Lana. Now, I mean, I'm obviously, it means you're losing your hair on top. I mean, f what do you mean losing my hair? That would imply that it's still going. I lost it fucking ages ago. It doesn't mean shit to me. I don't understand most of it. Basically, it's a bald joke. Do you make fun of bald people in Korea? I doubt you do. I feel like Koreans are the nicest people in the world. At least compared to, like, us Western folk, anyway. But yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it all. Let's just... Let's just fucking get on with it. No, it being hair, trust me, because of... Because of Mo. Is Mo losing his hair? Australia equals the worst. Hey. Listen here, Scotsman. I don't want to hear about no bullshit. Pretty sure it's just a meta word. It probably is, like Ligma. Because, you know, imagine being a popular streamer and then suddenly the only thing that actually matters on your stream is getting cut, like, cut out by buzzwords. <laughs> uh, one sucker surprise for you. Uh, but yeah, Mo got a bald spot. Yeah, so, uh, Trick 2 gs hairline's missing too, but no one gives a shit. He even got a nice emote for it too, bastard. There was actually a guy on Xbox Live who has had the name Ligma for many years. I kind of feel sorry. That got banned because of it. Oh, it feels fucking bad. Koreans certainly are more respectful. Yeah, look, I would thoroughly agree. Yeah. That is that is the way it goes, chat. Why don't you just shave it all off? I normally do. It's just been a while since I have. And it grows back because, you know, I'm Greek and I have hair on my hair. I haven't actually nuked the rest of my skull yet. Right, so I was supposed to lose all my hair by the time I was 35, but like, I said I started losing it all at 22 because medications are fucking cool. So, yeah, looking at my family tree, I'm just going to shave it all at 21. <laughs> it's fine, dude. Long as I don't look like a bacoblin by that time, you'll be fine. In Korea, we don't talk bad words. It is rare. Normally, people say insult like your mom work is made. That's like the, that's the worst insult you get in Korea, man. I think I'd get fucking exiled if I ended up in Korea. If someone pissed me off that much, I'd just turn around and be like, cop it. And then you me made the M as you mold. Yeah, pfft, whatever. Hey, Rhett, can't stick around today, Sally, because I have university exam. That's fine. It's not even an Overwatch stream today. So you do you, my friend. But yeah, hope you're all well. Hope you're doing good. I don't know how to explain with my bad. No, no, that's fine. Your broken English is perfectly fine. I get it. But like, 
saying that your mum's a maid, like, if it's like, and, and like in Korea, it's like, that's like a status thing. It's like, she's actually a maid, but like in, in, in like a Western society, you play league as well. Oh, that's always good. No worries, Valk. It's fine, man. You just chill. It's chill. You just chill. But yeah, like that kind of insult in Western culture is like, it does too many connotations with it. You practice Sibalki for years, like Korean martial arts. Whilst I was born in Korea, heck, he was the grandmaster's father. Having a seventh Dan in it, he was the nicest person I've ever met. Sounds about right. I would be banned in Korea because I'm toxic. Trust me. Yeah, look, I can't say I'm surprised about that one. But yeah, that that about covers it for today. Would only get mad when you disrespect it. I bet you that guy would like kick your fucking head off too, just because. Sounds like a top guy. I want to meet him. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Let's let's get on with the roast before we say anything we're going to regret, especially with the Koreans here. I'm not I'm not allowed, I'm not going to let anyone corrupt Hey Yeti again. So I'm going to do his vod first and let him be corrupted by the roast rather than you guys saying weird shit and chat again like what happened yesterday. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Just before we start, I'm just going to let the masses know that I am streaming. Not that anyone cares, but we have a good time with it anyway. But yeah. Ah. How was I meant to know he would Google sexy milf? Look, I'm, I, I would put it this way. He's trying to learn English to the best of his abilities. He's going to Google everything we say, chat. His poor, sweet, innocent soul is going to Google everything. So be slightly mindful of the weird shit that you're going to spout in chat because there is a high chance he's going to Google it and then you're going to be in trouble. Listen, I'm going to corrupt them. Look, that's probably going to happen. But yeah, we're still good. But yes... Ganglio again, you were up. All right, so Gar uh, Garvin? Jarvin the fourth in... Uh, what happened there? All right, and we've got runes to start off with. All right, so I've had a discussion about Jarvin previously in regards to runes. Now, I want to just make this abundantly clear. Conqueror is the better choice purely if you're like... Because if you're not going to go full armor pen, like full lethality, it's better to go Conqueror in almost every situation. Now, you're probably going to look at me and be like, Rick, what the fuck do you mean? I mean, basically, if you're going to be a bruiser, if you're going to, like, even if you do a damage build, even if you do anything like that, if you're, like, outside of just the burst combo, meaning, like, you're not full lethality, and you want some autos, and you want like, a little bit of this and that, you want Conqueror in almost every situation. So, just so you're aware, the Conqueror build is Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, maybe Tenacity if you need it, and then secondary is being Cheap Shot, Relentless Hunter in most situations. Not really any different there. Now, if you want to go the Electrocute build, uh, this is Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter with Triumph and Coup de Gras. Um, I believe Triumph Alacrity is the safer point, even though it is the burst build, but it depends on Jungle Clear. Uh, but yeah, the rest of it's basically fine. Shards are fine. Not really a lot of choice in difference there, but I still prefer the Conqueror build just purely because it's safer. This is for Jarvan, yes. Don't hit me for plat chat question again, please. Is there a set schedule on what game is on what day? Yes, there is. It's in both the stream info and in the welcome channel of my Discord. So you have plenty of places to find it. I would thoroughly suggest reading. <laughs> reading. Come get Because they're all there. Vex17. Jesus, I haven't seen you in a while. Funny, we were just talking about League of Mentoring yesterday, and now you're here. <laughs> welcome back, man. Haven't seen you in a while. Tw two months with Twitch Prime. Mutual love and appreciation, dude. Hope you're doing dandy. Hope all is well, man. So Conqueror is best. Yeah, I would believe Conqueror is best right now. Most people are running it. It's the safer safer choice in most cases. Gives more damage, and it gives a bit of sustain, and it gives good synergy in general. So, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, some on Australian times, but there are uh, US times in the thing. So you can actually see it. There's also European time. Which I believe is listed as 1 a.m. because you know how great that is. But yeah, Let's see how we go. All right. Let us begin. Apparently, I've got a, a flu of some sort. Because uh, I keep losing air and energy. But I'll be right. I'll be okay, trap. I will be okay. So, Hair Yeti is the first person. He. <laughs> Why isn't this video loading? Fucking long ass load screen right here. Alright. So he is gold two. His role is jungle. And he's playing Jarvan the fourth.
I love watching Rick at 1 a.m. I know you do. 2 a.m. in Germany? That's all right, man. Like I said, there's no there's no large expectations of everyone to be here, but like if you want to be here and there's more Europeans involved, I will try and get up early for it. We're back with Brecky. Where the fuck's mine, Vega? Huh? Where is it? Isn't that Jarvan Keystone the cheese one? So the electrocute one, yeah, is basically for the for the burst damage where you're like going lethality and you go for like the hella cheese, but yeah. Soon to be in my stomach. I'll fucking kill you, Vega. I'll take your food. <laughs> I will steal your food. Is this the guy that was the Akali in Bronze 1 or 3? Yes. That is literally the guy. Who was Bronze in Korea and is now Gold 2 here. Fucking crazy. Is LOL pay to win? No, it's not. There are some skins that are apparently worthwhile f like for the money, but wouldn't be anything I'd really worry about. So you guys got a kill out of that and three people survived. It's pretty lit. It's pretty fucking lit, fam. <laughs> oh. Things that make me nervous. Take one. Fucking people that help the jungler. Help. Wait. Are you going? Oh, he really is going for the cheese. Look at that. That's a fucking path. That's a fucking path right there. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're better off just going top lane because it's there and you would have beaten him at level one to that punch and you could have forced out some shit, but this is, this is a reach. I mean, there were some summoners spent, right? So this is, yeah. If you actually kept track of the summoners spent, I can't really tell because, you know, it's all in Korean, but that's a fucking, that's a go right there. Oh, it's coming out mid. Wait, is that a Jin mid? Nani? Wait, you should have gone for him. I thought you were going for him. I thought you were going about to get two kills happening right there. That would have been fucking lovely. Fucking nice. I'm choosing you over an ultra rare freak. Show made you so you should feel fucking special. Fucking right. I'm cooler than freak anyway. And fuck puns. Puns are stupid. Jin mid is a thing again. Yeah, it is. Is it a thing because I keep a taco says it's a thing, or are like people actually playing it in like pro play? I'm gonna go with no to the second part, but yeah. I wouldn't even go for the shield if you were going for the full damage cheese here, but it's cool. Are you going back what? Is this happening again? Is this a full is this the full round of cheese? Are we going the whole block? Oh mid's there. Mid's there. Oh, this is it. This is the fucking play right here. I'm ready for it. I'm so ready. Just walk on him. Don't even use EQ. Just walk on him. Oh, my man. Oh, I love it. Kill him. Got both of his summoners for free. Honestly, there was a chance he could have gotten both there. But he held it for so long. You might as well have just dropped E in front of him. Like, a meter in front of him. And then gone for the Q. So, like, as an example. When you're chasing this down, right? Because obviously you can't tell for sure. Because you know he's going to go for the flash. So, you've done the smart thing and actually walked up to him and do it, right? But at this point... I would drop E, like where your where your right click is, right here, and then just go for the Q. Because if he just flashes straight down, you know he's only got one way to go. So unless he like 900 IQs it and flashes like over here, there's actually like no, ch like you could actually just plan out where he's going to go and you would just land it right there. But you actually get both of his summoners here, which is pretty good. You actually have the right idea of it first off, and then he lives on like two health because, you know, Jin does zero damage, which is unfortunate. But... Yeah, yeah, he's on his way to mid. I would have been there to like look at look out just in case, but should be fine. I won't lie though. Apart from the really awkward like cheese position that you went for, I like your jungle path. I like that you've actually like rounded out some ganks to start off with as well. You've actually like you're very diligent and efficient with this. The only problem so far is just yeah not securing that kill on Lux. And being a little bit under health for this particular thing. But you've definitely got some leads sorted out, which is lovely. Oh, is this another kill? Is this the kill? Is this the fucking go right here? Oh, no, mind she's inting. Cool. You fed? No worries. Korea is toxic server. They're all server, really. They're all server. They're all server? English? They're all they're all toxic. Dude, I played on my G4 Smurf yesterday, and that shit is harder than my Plat 2 games. Jungle gang randomly. Everyone on both. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, eh? Like... When you, like, get used to some sort of pattern, 
And then you go and play on a different account and the shit's just messy. It's fucking scary. Are you actually playing... Wait, do you actually play League Pot Noodle or are you just like learning it now? Because I hope to God you haven't based your like thoughts on League of Legends based on my streams because it's going to be fucking scary. I hope no one heard that. Did anyone hear that? Nice English track. Cheers, man. I'll work on it. I... I don't play jungle. I'm inexperienced in jungle. I watch cleared and you say red is, but is unexpected. Game. I mean, it's definitely true. And like as someone that has been in top lane and has been ganked from red side, like from the blue side, red buff to top lane by a Pantheon. Oh, this is so free. Oh, this is so free. He doesn't even have any, Oh, he actually pulled it off. Who are you? See, if you were conqueror, this would have been an easier kill, but that's fine. This guy is an actual God. What, what, what kind of prodigy is this kid? He actually, I've never even seen a guy in diamond pull that trick off before. He actually, for those that missed it, he actually missed, he missed the thing originally and he actually got the flash trick. He actually missed, he missed the damage component originally, but made up for it by landing the fucking flash trick. What a genius. Kid's a fucking god. That's the first time I've seen him attempt it too, right? And this is after he asked me. He asked me in fucking... He asked me in Discord, like, how to do it and if it still works. And I said, I'm not even sure it still works. And he sent me a message later saying, yeah, it actually still works. I didn't realize he got it first try. Korean advice, don't miss in the first place. I mean, he technically didn't miss... <laughs> Hard stuck Korean bronze challenger in our yeah look he might be a. Eh? What are we talking about? We're talking about the fact that this kid is a prodigy. Is what's going on here? How do you go from being hard stuck bronze in Korea to literally like it looks like you're actually standing on these kids, like actually hand standing on these kids in Europe? This is crazy. It's actually crazy. This is all gone, so you know, like, Yee's on this side of the map. Never mind, they just respawn, so you actually have a little bit of time. You know, for someone who's gold too, your actual movement and spacing is some... is just... The other thing you want to be aware of, right, if you're going to actually kite the camp backwards, you have to actually, like, walk away from the camp to go for it, not just auto space with it. Okay, don't fail the exam. Good luck, Valkyrie. All the best. But yeah, that's something you want to learn about just for kiting backwards, but your spacing is fucking... It's lovely. Now, assuming you go straight to your red buff and can and continue on your path as normal, that is a pretty like solid like jungle path to start off with. I'm very proud if that's what you go for. You should have built the item. No, 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 build the item. No. Damage component would have been better here. Finish off your build the core field from scratch and then get the boots and leave the rest of it. You don't need blue smite. It's not worth it. Going to use Batiste one trick. Yeah, that doesn't mean shit in league though. It would have been it is if you left a small wolf to prevent the respawn. That's true. But the thing is, if you know that it's going to respawn soon, and like if you know when the respawn's coming up and you have the timer set for it, you can just go back and take it again. Because catch-up experience actually doesn't factor in shit anyway, so you actually just cop it. That's like part of the reason why Counter Jungle is just so freaking awkward. Because the experience means more to you front up than it does to them later on, because they will just get more experience again. A little unfortunate about missing this. Oh, you got it. <laughs> he still got it. Wow. Kid just made up for it again, even though he made a mistake. I love it. Yeah, so the only, like, downside is that you didn't go to your red to start off with, because that was where, like, the path was. Like, you had the path ready to go, and you went the wrong way. But yeah, so because this has been left up for long enough, that actually leaves you open to being counter-jungled. If you actually just go back on the same path and go back to it again, you're perfect. I make mistakes a lot. I don't know, man. I don't think you actually understand. For your rating, this is actually fucking insane. I don't think you're getting that, kiddo. I really don't. The only issue is, yeah, not like not kiting back is probably like the only thing that's really like hurting you. 
but it's not enough for me to just say that it's like murdering your chances of winning here. Like in the pre in the Akali game, right? Like we figured out that like your lane phase was spot on, but you had like issues like macro and like other things going from there, right? But I think if we like shored up all those other like instances of problems in the mid game, you would have no trouble at all, and you would be able to just like go right through everything. Uh, you have ult. You have double buffs. You have a chance to kill bot lane because your bot lane's coming back. So what you would have wanted to do for early game, right? Because they had a master year, you definitely wanted to have a ward on dragon, so you knew they wouldn't have to. They wouldn't be able to cheese it because he's done that. He's taken it, and that's the biggest problem. Like there is major, major issues if you actually like let them take early objectives. Uh, you probably shouldn't be going for the kill. You should be taking the CS, dude. The CS is worth more than the kill here. Oh, dear. I mean, it's nice that you actually, like, you know, duff his back, but it's not worth it. Just take the CS in mid. Worth much more. You really want to learn all the roles? Start simple, dude. Just start with one roll and then go from there. Your first mistake was trying to fight that and not dodging. You got to dodge that shit, dude. That's, that's the shit you got to dodge. You got to learn to walk before you can run, my good man. It's not warded. You got no way to use it 10% of the time. And don't even use the other 90%. It's awkward, isn't it? You're playing in the Korean here and AU or what? Am I playing it? Playing what? I'm very confused now. These Jin ults, they're pretty horrible, yeah. If you just take the crab here, it's cool. But yeah, the only issue so far is that you let Master Yi take the early cheese dragon. Because he knew he was going to do it. It's, it's all they do. And then, yeah, you failed, like, the attempt of just getting the free CS in mid and trying to chase down Lux. Like, you don't need to walk into every skill shot just for the sake of it. It's not worth it. Now, hang on. Quick pause. I just want to read this. I randomly drop major frames for like no reason in a game for a solid 30 seconds. The first time it was unplayable and wanted to ram because it burned my flash. This is in league. Uh, try repair client. If it's still having issues, then you're going to go from there. He's playing in EU, by the way. I know you cannot exploit my little Korean friend for your badness. So it gives you like a small box full time. Some I swear it comes to fucking sandwich roll. Small box. He's like my child, dude. No one's allowed to exploit my child. Small box of napkins. Oh, napkins, right, okay. Kennen's gonna get absolutely dick rolled in like two seconds. It's not gonna be good. Oh, hang on. You found him. That was just bad. <laughs> a big issue there. You don't do enough damage to ever want to do anything against Renekton. Which is a big problem. You can't fight him there. <laughs> Biggest mistake was trying. <clears throat> if, you had the, if you had the call field timer from the bypath, you would have been cool. It was almost real bad there. You're not wrong. I'm making friends don't bully me. That's okay. As long as you don't try to use him, or I will kill you. Because he is nice boy. New viewer who this. You ain't new, bro. You've been here for 17 months. Or 16 months. Either way. How you doing, Storm? <clears throat> blue Smite. He's not, um... He's not Conqueror, so it's... He's got Blue Smite. Which, again... I would still prefer Red Smite in most situations anyway, just because it's better and you get more autos out of it. That's why I don't agree with I don't agree with blue at all. Just everything about the build is horrible. So after capitalizing on like two early game kills, I'm actually just annoyed now because the problem here is that you haven't actually like done anything to continue like expanding that lead. There's been no vision control. Your item, your second item, like your first back for items was horrible. And none of it's actually like factoring into what you're trying to do in this mid game. Because now you're just going to get absolutely like smacked by, from everything you're trying to do here. Not 
good. Oh, right, the, <laughs> the laser pulled Rift Herald. I was like, what? Rift Herald's being done too? I got a pitch. Change Ohm Wrecker actives, remove all enemy shields in a small area around the cast like New Blitz I was going to do and make it a tanker support item. What do you think? Sounds cool. Kind of broken if it's a short cooldown, though. Seventy second cooldown's pretty short. I don't know, I think people like thoroughly underestimate how much value point runner is. Like the actual movement speed he gives is pretty crazy. Just saying. As good of an idea as this is, I'm pretty sure they saw you in the river. Maybe they don't know. He doesn't know. Oh, no, he knows. No, he knows. Now you can dive. You can just dive. Just make sure... Yeah, I was going to say, make sure no one's roaming down to you, but other than that, you're fine. Jin just got murdered somewhere. Oh, in top lane. They're trying to find you so that Lux can, like, collapse on this. Yeah, there you go. That's certainly doable. I feel like that was a little too obvious by them, and I'm glad you punished her for it, so... Yeah. I think Zon is in the 90 seconds or 2 minutes, I can't remember. Bit early on the ult. I'd say you wait for the flash usually. Like, after you EQ, like, I get you're going, you're trying to go for the thing, but yeah. The biggest issue you're running into now is just that you're not getting any value from, like, anything you've done. Like, you got bot turret, finally, like, that's the first bit of value you've gotten, but... I, the early dragon that you lost, now you've lost Rift Herald as well, like, there's... There's problems with this, and they're not, it's not giving you enough value to actually be like, yeah, cool, like, I'm going for this play, it seems like a good idea, you know? You can't fight that. Might be able to get a cheese on here. There's, there's, no, there's no creeps there, dude. Oh, hang on, this is happening now, is it? That guy would be so mad. <laughs> that was a good kill. What are you buying here? Lethality? If you buy tanky items with electric... Oh, this is a very outdated build, man. You definitely should be going Conqueror if you're going to build like this. But yeah, the problem right now, right, in like these, in some of these fights that you're getting involved in, you're actually like spending your skills way too quickly. So like, if you want to have like a CC chain on somebody, the idea is to like hit the knock up, then hit the W for the slow. And if they flash away from there, then you hit R. Or if they're not going to do so, then you just hit them with the R anyway and just like, you know, slow them down from there. But if you just repeatedly hit every button one after the other, you don't really get a lot of value off the CC you provide as Jarvan. And that doesn't like work for you all the time. If you had TM out here, this would be so good. So, like, your item build, and your skill build, and your room build, and my screen just died. What the fuck? No, that's his screen. Never mind. Fucking, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> this is his screen. <laughs> How long does this last for? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, where's the, where's the rest of his game? Hello? Hello? Uh, F in the chat? It's it's fucking gone. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's uh that's unfortunate. We just lost the rest of his game. 
That's a that's a F in the chat. Hang on. It doesn't seem to come back. Hang on. We got full sound. We've got sound. Got to pay the premium subscription to get the rest of this. But yeah, this is a, this is an EA VOD. It's a sub-only stream chat. If it's black, it just means that you can't see it because you're not subbed. Review by sound. It sounds like he's losing chat. I'm not entirely sure. I killed it. Fuck off. What happened to my video? Yeah, look, I got no idea. I heard someone die. It, it sounded friendly. Okay, he's alive. This is a good sign. He EQ'd something. You ever done a VOD review by sound only? It's really awkward. It's not even a VOD review, it's a SOD review. It's a sound on demand review. I heard his mic. This is a sound on demand review, guys. This is, uh, this is some shit. Sounds like he's failed the engage, chat. Not really sure how to go. I'm so sorry about that. Now you're fine, dude. <laughs> Let's talk about what footage we actually did have and go from there. I'm actually scared to click the match history now because I'm worried like the whole game just blew out of proportion and now we're fucked. <laughs> we're going to see it now. This is a better jungle wins game. <laughs> yeah, sure. Try skipping ahead until you see if it fixes. I've actually like moused over everything. I don't think we actually have much luck here. I'm just going to see if it happens to be YouTube. Wait, if I go back to where we were before. See, it's perfectly fine there. Hang on. Oh, I'm not liking our chances, chat. Just going to refresh it and see if it changes anything. I don't think it actually comes back. I think, I think we actually lose this video forever. I already reloaded it. You just saw me do it. I hear a DMP in there. Look, I think we're just going to have to call it a day on your boy. Can you link me the vid? I can check and see if it's on my end. I mean, sure. Hang on. Flakazashi in your DMs is the video. I'll see if uh, anything's gone wrong there, but if it's if it just happens to be Bork, then we'll just talk about the early game because, in all honesty, what happened in the early game definitely shaped up the problem for the later game. So, yeah, it's just his vid being like that. That's unfortunate. All right, so unfortunate circumstances have led to Ganglio Gan's video eating itself. Oh, he won! Oh, he went five one and fourteen, and he won. I'm so sad. This could have been a really good game. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, congratulations on the win. And I know Chuck Video is my favorite. It's all right, man. Shit happens. I mean, the first half of it worked perfectly fine. It's very rare that you see that happen, honestly. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, we'll talk about the early game because that was probably like where it started getting a bit awkward for everyone involved. So, I mean, your team did need a tank. And that's fine, right? It's totally okay. But I think the big problem here, right, is that going electrocute with the tank build is not the greatest. Dude, you really took over this game. You have 235 CS. You're leading. Jesus. Man, you must have really done well in this game. I'm a bit sad now. <laughs> but yeah. Um, time to try and retrace the match through the timeline and match overview. Yes, let's do that. So we hit, so they got Rift Herald. They got a tower. They lost the tower top, sorry. Ye got Ocean Drake, and and he died to Lux. <gasps> he died to Lux. Then Civic got a tower. There's a kill on Master Ye. There's a kill on Karma. There's a kill on Master Ye and Karma again, which results in Baron? Baron? Well, I can definitely see how you guys took over this game. Must have been a good kill in that. It must have been in Topside River. Hang on. Yeah, that would be it there. The two kills on Topside River that leads to them getting Baron. 
pretty cool. But one adjustment to make, basically, is Cinderhog instead of Warrior. Yep, so Cinderhog instead of Warrior, if you're going to go for this. But you want Conqueror instead of Electrocute, mainly, as well. I don't mind Warrior if you're going to go, like, this build. Like, this build itself is actually okay for, like, an engage type build. It's just that hella late game, you're going to get shredded by Tristana. So that's something you've got to be mindful of. Now, who got Yi? The kill on Yi was taken up by Kennen. And Kennen was behind. In both situations, Kennen got Yi. So Kennen was behind, got the money back, and went for it. But you've had such you've had really good leads. And your like your opening for that all of this is basically just kind of based on the fact that you're hitting this early stride really well, but then you build really awkwardly. So go for you want red smite. And, but you want to build the AD components first before you build anything else. So go for that. Go for Conqueror as well because it's better in most situations. And then when you're starting out your early game, right? Like your first your first route was fine. But when your red buff's about to respawn, you, you're, you want to go back to that first buff first. You want to do the most efficient jungle clear and fast jungle clear that's available to you. And in the process of that, you need wards on the main objectives. When do you go Tiamat? You don't do it on Javan anymore. It's not worth it on Javan anymore. Tiamat's the laner's build. <clears throat> Most cases, you just go straight warrior. But yeah. Wards wise, let's see, this is the good shit right here. 15 wards, 6 control wards in a 36 minute game. When did you switch to red? At 17 minutes. That's pretty solid. Could have been a little bit more warding early game, but the truth is, like, control ward could have been purchased in this gap somewhere. I'm not a fan of this. This, like, this item by here. But, yeah, definitely could have been some early-ass wards. Like, that would have been the play. But, yeah, pretty pretty proud of the warding overall. I'm still really not seeing, right? I ne We need to talk about this. It's better to just rush for it. That is definitely true. It's definitely true. But, like, you want to go for the... You want to go for the uh, the longsword components first for Caulfield before you go for the actual finishing of that, and you want this to be a red smite. Now, I need to understand something. How the fucking Christ are you actually bronze three on career, dude? Why do people build time out on Volibear Jungle? Because Cinderhawk's better, does everything you need for it, and his E clears well enough on its own. Uh, I don't get it. League is a perishable skill. I'll try and make a better job and build next time. You're fine, man. You are fine. Career is better than an A. He's on EU, genius. Fucking ant. Where's your, where's your cheeky remark for that one? <laughs> Suck a surprise for you. <laughs> I am not bronze three career. I am bronze two. I'm sorry. You're bronze two in career. My apologies. He's bronze two in Korea, but he happens to be nerd stomping right through EU solo queue. He's gold two right now. I don't even understand. Did Korea even get into finals? I'm sorry. You fucking what, man? <laughs> it's a harder region. It's true. It's definitely a more like competitive region generally, but I can't even understand. Like that's that, like that's a fucking gigantic jump on its own. I don't know, man. The, 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 this, this is what the arrows look like to me at this point. The arrows are just everywhere. It looks like one giant fish. It's really weird. <clears throat> Who even knows what the arrows mean anymore? Maybe they didn't play as many games in Korea. I mean, we had to talk about it during his Akala game. He does play quite a few games. Like, he's been a busy kid. But yeah, he's just come to Europe, new lease on life. Seems to be happier. And it's fragging. So, good for him. But yeah, keep it up, dude. There's definitely a lot of, like, you know, progress to be made, a lot of potential. But yeah, we just need a completed video next time. <laughs> Thank you, Ganglio Gam, for that video. We'll, uh, we're sorry that it died. All right. Fucking bunny. Oh, wait, that's the wrong bunny. Almost tagged the wrong bunny again. Fuck it. Why is everyone named Bunny? Your brother's up. All right. So, Bunny's brother. This is Bunny's brother. Sup, Bunny? Bunny! I uh, saw so I saw full course pop in before. Hello, full course. I'm sorry for like dodging you for a quick second. We're just losing our. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! That's loud. Oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna not do that again. That was pretty fucking painful. Oh. Okay. He yelled at him. Cool. 
Yell at him again for deafening me. Fucking hell, that hurt. All right. Where am I in the queue? After this one, Vega. Why aren't you reading the, the VOD list, Vega, you freaking pleb? <sighs> you suck, Vega. I'm really sorry about the video. I'll always check if it's okay before sending it. You're fine, man. Like, you're too nice for me to be mad at you, so just calm down. You're fine. Whenever I do, you haven't uploaded it. What do you mean I haven't updated it yet? I'm looking at it. It's right there. What are you talking about, Vega? Vega, you're banned. You're banned for life. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Vega's actually confirmed banned. Alright, so this is... Gold 2? Why is the... I really has minus 5 movement speed. That's the title of this? That's what we're going for? IDK Rai, he recorded so late. Sorry, I like Vega though. That's fine. He'll survive. He'll survive. So this is a Lissandra video in Gold 2. So another Gold 2 player. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Lissandra with Electrocute. Nani? Why the fuck would you go Electrocute on Lissandra when Aftershock's so fucking good? Even if it is nerfed, it's still better in most situations. Because, you know, it's fucking Aftershock and you're an engaging ma like, mage. Then again, though, every single person that's played Lissandra in the past two weeks is apparently lost, except for the guy who went Electrocute. That's awkward. But then again, <laughs> the only guy that won is the guy that isn't on Korea. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, I'll check the selfie build just because I'm feeling feeling dandy about it. But yeah, I'll check Pawn and Caps as well, who have both gone the correct build. So you've gone Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeballs, and Ultimate Hunter with Boots and Cosmic Insight with Double Adaptive and Armor. Who are you reversing? I assume Irelia because he hates Irelia so much, apparently. But <clears throat> let's see. Compared to Selfie's build, you should be cheap shot because you're CCing everyone to death. Ravenous would be okay compared to Ultimate Hunter. I don't know why you went Ultimate Hunter, dude. It's not that helpful. Secondaries, they go Sorcery anyway with Absolute Focus Gathering Storm for the best. But yeah. I wouldn't really recommend it personally. I'm going to check the proper build. So I want you to go Aftershock. I want you to go Aftershock, Demolish, Bone Plate, and either Overgrowth or Unflinching, depending on the situation. Probably Overgrowth, just because it gives you that little bit of extra health. It's quite nice. And then for secondaries, go Cosmic and Biscuits, or Boots Biscuits, just because the actual gains from that Inspiration secondary are fucking magical and very helpful. So go for that. As for Shards, your Shards are fine. Depending on, assuming that is Irelia you're versing in lane. So let's see how the game goes, shall we? Why is this so freaking loud? Oh wait, you're a duo! Hey! I'm the roast bunny in this game as well, huh? This is good. Could someone explain to me what the hell is his thingo means? Gold to roll mid lane. And we have Lysandra. Alright, so mid lane Lysandra. Let's see how we go. Got the Ignite instead of the Teleport too. So you're definitely going for like the lane presence. You know, the lane presence that you just don't have. Oh, this is an invade. That's cheeky. <sighs> Very cheeky opening. Missed all of the CS in mid, which is a bit unfortunate. But you do have the opportunity to annoy Aurelia. This is a little bit of an awkward way to go. You're better off just standing. Right about here, so that when the lane pool comes down, you at least have the opportunity to poke, but you don't take all this damage from minions. You might be like, oh, it's only a few damage, but it's actually more than you think it is. At least the... Oh! Junglers come up for the assist. Now, if you were auto-spacing and, like, move forwards, you could have killed him with Ignite as well, but... You know, I wouldn't really, like, have too much faith in that really getting pulled off, so I'm glad you didn't. <coughs> Oh, he clicks his abilities too. How awkward. So you got to remember now, so ever since I changed Lissandra to not have the mana passive anymore, you have to be very, very mindful. I'm a little mad that you wasted your Q previously there, because that could have actually resulted in a kill, especially since you're Electrocute. Imagine going Electrocute and not even having the ability to do it. Just fucking, you know what? You could even flash on him here. If you did it earlier and you actually like flashed on him with Q, like flash WQ, that was a kill. Flash WQ Ignite was a kill. Because he wasted his E as well, so he wouldn't have even stunned you under turret. Like, that was actually free. Oh, come on, kill him. I don't even know why you E'd forwards into that. An auto on its own probably would have done the job. But that's cool. You got the kill. As awkward as that sounds, you actually got it after all that. Dude. 
I would thoroughly suggest practicing your CS. Also, it appears that playing locked camera runs in the family, so that's pretty fucking unfortunate. Imagine if, like, this these people actually remember to unlock their cameras. They might actually be good players by now. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. Although, I don't know why the hell you're roaming into the jungle, even if it is an Ivone. I don't know why on earth you're roaming into the jungle with half health. This is deep. Locked cam is a sham, man. God, that was hard to say. Ruined your recall. I love locked camera. You're a horrible person, Twist. Don't even talk to me. Don't even don't even lie about those shenanigans. But seriously, though, what, what is with people in playing locked camera? Like, are you not aware of, like, how little awareness you give yourself with this? Like, even Miss CS that was right in front of you, bro. Like, what the hell? One in the chat if you play locked camera. If I see more than, like, two people say one in the chat, I'm actually going to hurt people. You're all banned. Every single one of you. Again, I don't understand why you're trying to... I don't understand why you're even trying to, like, go for this attempt in lane when you could have just warded, gone home, and come back earlier and you would have been at a perfectly good spot. Now you're just fucked. Oh, Jesus, this is annoying. You even missed the caddy, too. Oh, should have just queued it. I mean, I, I get it if you lock it for, like, a trade here or there. That's totally normal. But... Dude. Dude. Dude! That Jarvan just saved you so fucking hard. Holy shit. That Jarvan just 900 IQ'd, and he wasn't even aware of it. Holy shit. That was large. Please just get the shove and go home. Please. I swear, if you stay for too long, I'm going to hurt you. Goodbye, world. You're dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's actually... He's inting. Inting. I thought you learned your lesson after the first time. Why? Why didn't you do... Why didn't you just go home? I don't even care about the previous money. Why didn't you just go fucking home? That J4 is our boy. Ganglio get Wouldn't surprise me, honestly. <clears throat> You know the best part? He hasn't even placed a fucking solitary ward yet. Bunny, have you not taught him anything? Hey, look, I did it. Did you kill someone? Nice. Twist stole my joke, PDW, but you missed it when I said it. Did you? Oh, is this the job from last game? Yeah, look, sorry. Chat's going too fast for me. I'm too busy. St I'm still banning everyone for spamming one in the chat, even though they don't play lock camera. If you play lock camera, you're a sinner. I'm just saying. I get now why he blames Irelia for this. It's because he's actually an idiot. I get it now. So, I just want to be honest with you about something, right? Are you aware you're tanking an entire minion wave while trying to do this trait? Like, it's a nice trait. I get it. I get it. But, you don't even have to take this fight. Even if you stun him right here under the tower, right? This is probably the best time. If you stun him right there, and then E, and then Ignite, he just takes all the pain under the turret because he actually would have been in tower range right prior to that, and he would have been okay to do it. It was a perfectly nice trade until you decide to tank the entire, like, his minion wave, plus Irelia, plus having no fucking skills up. Like, I think the worst part as well is that you actually use... I just want to check this before... No, it's just an auto. I thought he was about to use W right before then, and you were actually about to get ruined, but... Yeah, stepping forwards into this when you shouldn't is just a bad idea because she's almost got all of her shit up too. Now she's got Conqueror and her blades up too. This is just a bad idea. I don't know why you would attempt to go for this. Like, you can blame Ivern all you want, but what you did was silly. You don't even have vision. You're, like, there's no point in having the wards in your inventory if you don't use them. This is silly. It's fucking silly. Let me locking camera I'm used to. It's a muscle memory thing. Yeah, but it's not going to make you better at the game. Name one person... That is a pro player right at this moment that has that plays lock camera twenty four seven. You can't. You just can't. Mo is not a pro player. 
So I'm calling it now, and you can steal this, right? I can be a big boy YouTuber. I've got to have a league series where you make TFT comps and play them in normal league. Yeah, how the fuck are you going to cram eight people on a team, dude? Explain that one. Wait, what is it that Dyrus did? The lock camera thing. I mean, to be fair, when Dyrus was doing it, Epic Gamer wasn't a pro team. So it doesn't mean shit. I mean, not a single reaction. Imagine not reacting. So, who's the more toxic one of the two of you? Her for sure. I don't know, man. I think you're both pretty horrendous people. At least in League, anyway. Bunny's nice sometimes. They're both gremlins. Bunny, don't act surprised. I found out about your chat restriction. No, she's not. Oh, Jesus. You're, hey, if, if you name yourself after Ventus, that means you're supposed to be somewhat pure of heart. And I don't see this shit. I don't see it. So as far as I'm aware, you're both very evil people. And Full Course is the most wholesome one out of all of you. Let's not forget that she just got a shot. Yeah, dude, I, I was already there. I was already all over it. All over it. Best grill I have. You're about to get absolutely aped by the IRL here just purely because you just... I don't know why you would ever come forwards into any situation where she's got double buffs. <laughs> also, congratulations on finally hitting award score. Just kidding. <laughs> I think that's it. I've ever made Thank you so much for the test. I'll try to No worries, gangly again, mate. All the best. Good luck. What are you, what are you pressing one in the chat for? One in the chat if you've had a chat restriction. Good, it's only two of you. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, here we go. The Jukes. The Jukes of Hazard. Steve <laughs> walks back into the top of you. <laughs> <sighs> Does a 14 day ban count as a chat restriction? Probably. Duking back into lane to dodge the tower dive never goes well. I mean, I've never really seen it actually like result in a win unless you're like, like 1900 IQ and that just never happens. <clears throat> oh man. TTU. What the hell does TTU mean? Yeah, what the fuck does TTU mean? By the way, there's a lot of the reason why you just don't wait with your ulti. Bunny with a large dick save here. Q not coming back in time. Bit hard in the paint for that. That was interesting. I never rest. Why didn't he use it? I mean there he did, but he nearly died. Yeah, look. I get people I think people get into this like situation where they think that like they can get the kill without it in a lot of situations. And truthfully, like, unless it's a, like, you do shitloads of damage and you can, and you perfectly know your character, 
I would just fucking go for it in most cases. Like, and you won't even know this until you hit at least diamond, but even then, like, in most situations, where the fuck's your control ward? Not that it even matters because you literally don't ward at all. Bunny, have you not taught him anything? I spent how many months drilling into you, like, how to fucking ward, and you can't even tell your brother, like, two things? Like, actually using them? Ignite isn't longer. I mean, they just buffed it, so, like, the cooldown's hella quick, so. There's no reason not to use it in this point. The whole point of taking it is to kill people with it. Now that I'm watching this, this is the worst Ascender game I've ever had. Yeah, good! I yell at her that I bought one every time I do it and she feels the conflict. Good! Might actually stop you from getting shit canned by the enemy jungler almost every single time. Oh, never mind, you're dead anyway. If you actually don't do anything with your ulti suit, I'm gonna cry. Because I know this is going to result in you getting killed, and I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be absolutely pissed. You know you're revealed, right? Like, he, they can see you. <clears throat> Could have literally done anything there prior to that that would have resulted in an easier kill than that. But fuck it, why not? Go, go to everybody. <laughs> yell at yellow that I bought one every time I do it, and she feels accomplished. I mean... Well, I, if this is something that's actually been happening, what, why are we forgetting to do it now? Like, aren't either of you close to promoting at this point? You've been on a streak, haven't you? Haven't you? At four promos now. Four promos to what? Goal one? Plat four. You're at plat promos right now. Can you please just clear your lane and go home? I swear if you get killed right here, I'm going to die. If you get killed here... There's going to be pain. You're not even the aftershock wheels. You can't even risk to go in like th this. is the thing that bugs me. Like, you know, you're not using your trinket. You have 2k gold in the pocket. You're not you're not aftershock, so you can't even risk be like being a, like on a heavy ass trade at all. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I think Wacky's about to have a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> Alright, so we got Ludens. I think, I think Wacky's actually hit... Breaking point. Two vision score at 14 minutes. Yeah, look, it's pretty bad. <laughs> My missing ping is not working on the Sandra. <laughs> Let's get some question marks in the chat. Some missing pings. Or just ping like wardem, warding totem two charges. So how long have we been sitting on two wards? A while. Majority of this game. Iron players have better vision score. You might be onto something. You know the thing that makes me laugh? Every so often, he somehow accidentally zooms in his camera, and he has to zoom it back out again. And it's like a half realization moment that he's about to get like, a, like a brain mass that says, "Yeah, I know what I'm doing," and then suddenly nothing, like nothing happens. Even though I really is literally walking through the. Oh my god, this is so bad to watch. I really just just tanking the entire way for nothing. Oh god, just missing everything. You could have just altered yourself. It was safer. He actually used the trinket. God knows when or why. I like how you're getting mad at Ivan, even though, like, everything that you're doing here is just, like, your own fault. <sighs> I'm not mad, I'm just sad. You should be. Ivan is fucking mean, he's not even in my lane, Lamar. <laughs> He's fucking you because you're an idiot, not because of life. Man. I, I'm sorry, I can't even be nice about this anymore. Like, everything you did in early game was the result of your own silliness. Not had nothing to do with Ivern. Ivern just got a freedom out of it. This is gold too. How you plat with two visions? He's almost plat. Is he plat now? Wait, has he reached plat? He's about to reach these hands, honestly, but... I struggle like fuck to get the plat and I actually ward. See, the difference here, right? <laughs> oh god, bunny wards for it. Yeah, look. <laughs> bunny, I hope you're getting paid. Two wins in plat promos. Bunny, I hope you're getting paid. This is why the Korean guy got so high. Yeah, look, he might be onto something. West Western civilization is failing, chat. I'm moving to Korea. Get me the fuck out of here. Have you ever got a single cannon minion this entire fucking game? Oh, no, don't do it. Please don't do it. Please. Oh, lordy Jesus. This is going to result in you dying. 
Never mind, I thought Ivan was actually going to come across. Oh, never mind, there he is. Oh, you just left Bunny to die. I hope there were screams. Wait, are you about to go back in? If you fucking die... If you go back in and die... Why would you walk towards that? If he crit you twice, you were dead. Hello? How the fuck? Like, you literally dodge a bullet by actually getting out of that, and then you walk back into it and almost die? Chat is scrolling a bit fast. Hang on, what am I missing? How is he plat? Please tell me. He's not plat yet! Honest question, how is this dude going to be in plat 4 and be this disconnected from the game when it took me like 4 years to get there? Look, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Character choice might be one of them. <laughs> Character choice is like part of the reason, but I think the other thing that's actually carrying him over the line so far is the fact that he has a support that that actually knows how to fucking work. Buddy's like vision score is almost higher than everyone else in this fucking game, dude. Like what the fuck? Look at this! Buddy's actually carrying this game. Yeah, you're a Katarina main. Are you joking? He's a Katarina, mate. I want to fuck him. I want to actually just... Give me something to headbutt, chat. Can't believe it. What, rank? Apparently, he's almost plat 4. He's two wins into plat promos. I don't even know how to feel about this. I don't even understand. This is why higher ranks are doing so bad. <laughs> they say behind every strong man, there's an even stronger support. And here we are right now. Who is Bunny? Bunny is Keone Snow. It's the support player playing Nami. The support player in this game is the guy that we're roasting, Sister. Who is playing awesomely. Haven't seen a VOD from Bunny in ages, by the way. But instead, we get to roast the brother. And this is one of the first times I've ever seen Bunny play well. <laughs> because it's not a video. <laughs> Love you, Bunny. <laughs> I mean, naturally, it's the roast, so... You tagged me. What'd you tag me for? Uh, no, I've had multiple warnings from Riot on the forums, though. Forums for doing what, though? That's the attempt right there. Oh, man. Are you guys actually going to get an objective off of this? Like, you got Dragon. Is it going to be some mid turret help? Oh, jeez. Jarvan's just going in. You'd be able to go in, too, if you were fucking Aftershock. Oh, wait! Mm. You're almost fucking dead again. Man, dude, Java, the Javan and Nami combo is just carrying. I can't even understand it. I just can't even fucking understand. Can't remember Flaming Idiots before. Maybe just don't do that, Vega. That might help you. I said no, but I've never had a pre-warning from Rudo when I'm toxic. It's in short bursts. I mean, we've seen the videos, Vega. We know. We've seen the videos. You want the hug? I know, I know. I I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with it, Bunny. I want to see the game that gets you into plat, though, Bunny. That's what I want to see. I need it. I need that game. The game that gets you into plat. That's the one I want to see. If she doesn't get banned first. Look, full course. I totally dig it. I dig it. You know, last season my spam big in a bucket. Why? It's always been a year since I've been permit. <laughs> On the anniversary of your perma, are you going to get permit again, Bunny? I hope not. That's the secret honor farm. You know what the real honor farm is? Just not being a dickhead. Alright. So, I just want everyone to be aware now. We are 22 minutes into the game. And your boy has literally not dropped a second ward yet. It's pretty good. We are contacting Riot employees on Twitter to make it happen. Yeet. Is that, a, is that an attack speed Malphite? He's got wit's end! That Malphite has wit's end! <laughs> oh shit. 
Yeah, everyone just spam two in the chat for for Bunny. Just, uh, can't believe this is gold too. I actually can't. I actually can't believe this is gold too. Maybe it's NA. You know what? Maybe it's NA. I think I think we can actually like put the label on it. Like we watched. We watched fucking Hair Yeti's game previously, right? And he was the Java in Gold 2 fucking EU, right? And that game didn't look too bad. It, there was some things going on, you know? Like, obviously, it was, you know, a cut above. But now we're here. We're on NA Gold 2. We've got a, we've got a mid lane Lissandra that literally is allergic to warding. Somehow has put place wards recently, which is fucking amazing. we got chat restrictions out the wazoo. Everyone's going wrong here. The only world record NA owns is losing the quickest international BO5 to you. Ouch, man. It's happening here. This is the this is the wombo I wanted to see fucking three hours ago, and we finally got it. It took a while, but we got there in the Oh, that's unfortunate. Imagine if you were aftershock though. <laughs> if you were aftershock, you might have actually had a little little more a little more to it. If that Malphite had a brain and built correctly, he would have fucking killed you instantly. Oh dear. Wait, you're actually gonna... This is actually gonna happen? You're gonna get hit once and die? Oh, never mind! You got lucky. Oh yeah, that's totally a good idea to be. Yeah, that's not gonna stop you from backing. Never mind, he's in the shop. He's actually gonna die. Oh! How did you live?! Actual brainless individual! Imagine literally throwing your brain out and then actually living for it. I can't even believe it. I can't even fucking believe that you're alive. You're not God! Get back in your box! <laughs> I can't even fucking believe this. Bunny, why did you send me this? <laughs> I thought you loved me. Oh. Bunny's like... I feel like this is Bunny's revenge. I feel like Bunny's actually got to a point now where she's like, You know what? I've had enough. I've had enough of Red roasting me. I'm going to let him roast someone else. And at the same time, I'm going to let him have a brain hemorrhage mid-go. Full course, did you approve this? Did you watch this in advance? Am I in trouble here? Oh, what is the copy pass though? Hang on. Plan. Hey chat, I noticed most teams have skins for their region. And apparently, we're getting so much trouble. Where can I find the NA skins for it? <laughs> don't know, man. I don't know. Someone named Trash messaged me. Is that any of you guys? Oh, he says Cosmic Reaver Cass and our back Renekton. Our back Renekton should be asking. Did you miss another goddamn cannon minion? He missed another cannon minion. <sighs> NA confirmed for fun region. Ask anyone? Yeah, look, at this point in time, I'm actually inclined to believe it. I don't even know what to expect anymore. Hey, he altered himself. Could have done it later if he had Aftershock 5 head. <laughs> You actually do negative damage. But if you die without using your Zonyas, I'm actually going to hurt something. Don't do it, man. I, man, how the... You know what? I don't care if, like, whatever is in your bank account, I want you to empty that shit out and just throw it at Bunny. Like, just throw it. Every single dollar, just fucking just yeet it right at Bunny right now. Every single fucking dollar that you have. Because there is no, like, plausible way. There is no plausible way that you would have made it to plot on your own without it right now. Imagine having a credit card. Imagine having, like... You know what? However the fuck you're making money... And it's probably some illegal means because, you know... Can't imagine this is safe. No. Why would you work without a credit card? What is with you people? Jokes on you, Rec. I have minus one dollars. You know what? Fine. Have it your way. She doesn't love either of us at this point. <laughs> Are you dying too, Full Course? Are we gonna chill? I think I think Full Course is gonna come live with me. I think this is the way to go. <laughs> C9 is G2 with, with first type top lane perks. TL loses to FNC with a sub jungler debut for them. TSL loses to OG, roll swapping Duke Duck and Patrick and Patrick's first competitive Nico game very convincing EU over the NA. Yeah, look, that was pretty awkward. TBH is carrying me in this game. I am not inclined to believe that is the case. I'm so glad though that one control ward that was placed in the river, like like in mid game, 
has actually managed to garner that much vision score that he's actually caught up to everyone else on his team when he was literally zero for the majority of this game. Price to skip. Fuck, man, I'd do it for a, I'd do it for a Klondike bar at this point. But truthfully, like, I think we're all going to have to suffer through this. She was definitely gold, like, three before I started playing with her. <coughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you're still ward like an iron player, dude, so I'm not really inclined to believe anything that goes on in these games. I played like a brain-dead banana peel here, though. I mean, that's a pretty good way to put it, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> this is a pretty awful game. Like, all that lane phase that you went through there was literally just you messing up, and I don't think you have any, like, reason to blame Ivern at all. Oh. NA this, E, that, we are all friends into it. Did you just come up with that, Centaur? Oh no, don't go into it. Oh, straight into the problem here. Oh, he actually gets it in time. Don't tell me you get a Penta. Please, no. Please don't get a Penta. Oh, thank you, God. He actually got a Quadra kill. I want to fucking die. I actually want to fucking die. He actually almost got a Penta kill in this game. I want to actually... I just... I'm, I've had enough. I think... I, I think... I think we're done here. <laughs> oh. oh, I think the only thing that's actually saving me in this game is Wacky's copy past us at this point. <coughs> oh. They actually surrendered after that. I want to. I've actually had enough. I, I can't. Oh. Blue a thirteen. <laughs> Had to get saved by America. Blew a 13 colony lead. <laughs> oh, hello, Enya. How you doing, man? Sorry, I must have missed it. What's this one? As a European, as an European, it was always hard for me to understand American culture. What was fascinating for me is they like bragging about their freedom, which was weird for me because I think <clears throat> I didn't think I had any less freedom than them. I always thought, what is the difference? However, after this game, I finally understand it. NA just so fucking free. Yeah. It's basically spot on. Did Rek just notice any was here? Possibly. She asked me if I'm going back to Ranked after this game. I don't think so. I'll stay in TFT. Look, I'll be honest, man. If anyone wants inspiration about getting to Plat at this point, I think just watching this VOD review might actually like help you all out. I think we're actually at this point. I think we're actually at this point. <laughs> Holy shit. After I sent like 15 messages. Look, I just blamed the copy pasta in my chat. This is the weirdest that my chat's ever gotten. And it's only because we've now just discovered that NA is actually fucking trash. Is this is this really what we're at right now? Like, I've actually, I've got nothing. I, 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 I've, ne I've never perpetuated the NA versus EU thing before. But after watching this game, dude, I actually just want to die. Like... We, there is a there is a wits end malfight on the enemy team for fuck's sake like who the fuck who signed off on this who actually signed off on this fucking build like are you actually like are you kidding me oh hello bunny's brother this is michelle obama i'm loving your stream but all this feeding is making usa looks like garbage i'm sending my husband barack obama to shut you down <laughs> Oh, I feel like there's a bad Ivanka Trump mean to go with it. Oh, look, the game is so incomplete that we don't even get the player builds. Do we get the stats? Okay, we got the stats. Eight wards with one control ward in a 28-minute game. Someone just put me in the fucking bin and burn me alive. Thank you very much. My dad looks like a Barack Obama, really? That's... <laughs> and Bunny confirmed it. <laughs> cool, I guess. Sort of new player league awards more than this guy. Yeah, look, I can't say I'm surprised. Did I do a good? Bunny. Let's see Bunny's wards. Nami. 29 wards with 11 control wards. More wards than the game minutes. Love it. This isn't your VOD. Shut up. I want to know. <laughs> uh, look, the only redeeming factor of this game is Bunny. I'm just saying it. Bunny carried this game. Bunny and Jarvan literally carried this game. The fact that you got a quadra kill at the end of the game actually makes me want to eat, like, eat salt acid. Like, 
I can't even understand. <clears throat> I can honestly say that 100% EW is more salty than NA will ever be. I don't even care, dude. I, at this point in time, I'm willing to accept anything as long as we understand now that we just watched this game go on and that 29 minutes or something we're not getting back and it hurts. <clears throat> <laughs> in their upcoming heist, the 100 Thieves team visited an orphanage in LA. It's heartbreaking to see their sad little faces with no hope, said Charlie, age 6. <laughs> oh, it's so horrible, but you have to laugh at it. Oh, fuck it, hell. Oh. You know what? I think I'm actually broke today. I think I'm actually just going to have to say it. I don't think NA has any hope. Like, t Team Liquid right now, right? The current iteration of Team Liquid is literally the last hope NA has of winning anything major. And I swear to God, if they fall, like, face first at Worlds this year, I think we just write off NA as a wildcard region. I think that's it. I think that's actually it, dude. I think we actually just write off NA as a wildcard region. Like, let's just... let You know what? Let's put the OPL in. I think it's time. I think it's time the gamers rose up in O's and we actually got some fucking love after I should have retired, retired three years ago, probably. After, like, at first year of 100 Thieves, they were cool, and then they got rid of Meteos, and now they're shit. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, but yeah, I think, I think NA has just gone downhill from here. It's just a fucking, it's just a shit show now. It's just painful. All right. Now, I've got to actually give some proper coaching material in this game, or else I'll just come off like a glorified asshole. So, let's actually talk about your early game, because that's probably the only thing that actually, like, really stuck out for me at this point. Because you seem to have the right idea when it comes to team fighting, except for the fact that you're not Aftershock, so going in at the times you do is very risky. Just a thought. But, I want to talk about your early game. Please, do not, do not go for these trades with minions that are beating on you. It's not safe. You're not going to get any benefit out of it. And the worst part is that without any vision on the map, you're not going to figure out that the jungler is waiting to absolutely fist fuck your asshole. So maybe figuring that out before you actually go in for any of these kinds of fights might help you. Cool. Glad we sorted that out. Now, I need you to be aware of two things in regards to Irelia's kit. If Irelia is stacking up Conqueror and her passive at the same time, you don't win any trade in close range. You just don't. Your, uh, your whole point and purpose is to literally just cue her at range, and when she dashes at you, you hit W, and you walk off. That's it. You could only stay remotely close to it to go for the all-in if you have Aftershock, but you don't. So, your job is to stay really far back. No matter how many imports I choose, I still continue to lose. And then I make an excuse. You guessed it right. I'm from my name. My screen is always gray when it worlds I play. Uh, I feel like that went really weird. Whatever. <clears throat> Maybe EU accents are just awkward for saying that. Imagine going into an online chat and spamming it with a brainless text for no reason. What brainless? I can't stay. I lose too many brain cells. That's okay. It's understandable. It's very understandable, chat. All right. I have one more VOD to do before I actually, like, literally tilt off the face of the earth. But <clears throat> I think we're going to go from there. Uh, oh, you know what? This is going to be the redeeming point today, chat. Are you ready for this? It's Vega. Who's ready for some fucking Vega? You all know Vega is the only redeeming factor of this stream today. Plat 2, pinnacle of oceanic gaming entertainment. We're here. It's Vega Thrum, baby. Vega Thron playing Mouse. You ready for that? Bunny, no. Supports cannot carry. It's in the rules. <laughs> I don't know. I think Bunny did an alright job there. Honestly, though, good luck getting to Plat. Bunny. Vega can't carry for shit. Yeah, look, we'll figure this out today, won't we? <laughs> alright. Malzahar. All right, Summonary, Manifold Land, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, with Secondaries, Minion Demilitarizer, and Cosmic Insight. Do people still run this build? Honestly? Like, dead set, do people still run this build? I'm not even aware that people still attempt to run this. <clears throat> now, we talked about Scorch against Gathering Storm, and I totally get, like, that you don't want to, like, you don't want to run Scorch because, you know, with MR shards, it's pretty crappy for it. 
I don't really know if games are even lasting long enough to even warrant taking Gathering Storm anymore. So if your choices are there, that's probably the best you got, but just something to think about. Um, secondaries, Boots Biscuits is still better in almost every situation. You want the Biscuits because you want to spam, and you want the Boots for free because why the fuck not? And in a hard matchup, you take Time Warp Tonic, the end. I know that some people go like Mini Dematerialize on Cosmic Insight because that's like the old build, but you just don't get enough for it. You just don't. Anyway, you've got Adaptive, Adaptive, and Armor. Who are you versing in mid? Who are you versing in this? Because if you're versing an AD lane, you should take, like, you should definitely be, like, going for the aggression here, but we'll see how we go. I mean, after 10 minutes, Gathering Storm is stronger than Scorch, so why would you take Scorch unless you need to stomp? Well, they, that's the thing. If it's matchup dependent and you want to win at level 6, then going for Scorch might be worth it. But it really just depends on the actual amount of, like, thing you get from it. You're versing Yasuo mid. Okay. This will be interesting. Alright. Like, if it takes you this long to actually pick up off the ground, then yeah, go right ahead and take Gathering Storm. It's perfectly fine. But if you actually are trying to make a way past that, then you're not going to get, like, perfect... You know, you're not going to get perfect uh, sort of synergy from it. Alright. I believe in you, Vega. Time for you to bring it home. Time for you to make us all fucking happy. Vega, we haven't even started the fucking game and you're flaming. Are you kidding me? Like, how the ever-living shit am I supposed to say that Oceanic is better than NA if you literally start out being a clown like this and having a fucking whine? You have been gifted a subscription and click claim to activate. Uh, Wacky, I think you're going a bit far with this crappy, with this crappy pasta. Also, Vega, that was terrible CS. Yes. Also, Vega, you suck and you're inting. You're about to int. I can see it. You're inting. I'm not even sure why you would take Q second into fucking Yasuo, dude. Like, you're not going to hit him with it. You're better off just going W second and then just waiting for him to run on you than hitting everything at once. No one has been gifted a subscription. You all suck. I don't even reap the benefits from this and it makes me very sad. Is this the fight? I said, do both of you... Don't tell me both of you just used Ignite. If both of you just used Ignite, I'm going to be pissed. Did Hecarim use Ignite? Hang on. I want to sub. You're already fucking subbed. What are you whining about? I'm pretty sure your last, gift, your last sub was gifted too. Okay, he didn't use it. Thank fucking God. Someone's smarter here. Dude, Vega, you still can't see us at all on fucking Mal's, eh? <clears throat> Twitch Prime. Yeah, yeet. Sometimes I super glue my thumbs to my What the fuck? <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure your E-cast actually goes uh, past it because it's it comes it actually, like, appears on the person. It comes active, like, on the person, right? It's not actually a shot. Tempted to go attack speed shot. I mean, you could. Mouse is hard for you to see us on the tower. The whole point is to literally just <clears throat> hit E and then just let the CS like go for itself after the the turret hits. Because if if they if it starts at full health, it will actually give you the full amount from then onwards. Like, if the dot starts on a minion that's full health, and then the tower the tower kills it, like, this is it mainly applies to um, range minions, it will actually kill after the fact without any trouble at all. I told him EW. Yes. Vega Vota, I can dig it. I hope so, because, like, the other ones have been pretty freaking awful today. One was by accident, the other one was just plain toxic. You don't, okay, you don't want to give him a free dash through you, just because of the fact that, like, you know, if you put W down, he's just going to dash through it for free. Because why the fuck not? 
50 wards in one bush. Are they both yours? I hope not. I just realized that both those wards are there. Jesus, Vega. CS, man! Stop using your Q on Yasuo. It's not going to fucking help you. Just stay in the minion wave. Oh, dearie me. Even if you ran downwards through the minion wave, he would still have to start attacking you from there. It would actually make your life so much easier. Oh no, you've actually gotten into... Oh, never mind. He didn't even stay to finish the kill. Oh no. He didn't... Wow, he lived. Oh my god. I can't believe both sides are that fucking stupid that neither of them killed each other. Oh, never mind. The jungle killed him. <laughs> That's it. We're done here. We're done. We're done. Game, the day's over. I don't give a fuck. Day is fucking over. Absolutely over. Oh. oh. I can't believe we actually got to this point again. I mean, that Hecarim is literally spoon-feeding you ganks, dude. Oh, no, I want him to buy a lesson. I am not letting you teach him. If you just... He's oom, dude! He's oom! Just use the potion and start attacking him! Fuck! He was oom! You just use your potion and start autoing him! Fuck, man! This hurts to watch? You fucking think so! Hecarim all chat though. Fuck Hecarim! This is literal. This is literally an ape game. Western civilization has failed. That's all I'm getting from today's stream. That is literally the message in today's stream. Western civilization has fucking failed. Absolutely failed. Hello, old McDon McDonaldo. Okay. Welcome to the roast. Western civilization has failed today. Thank you, Barmy, for the follow. Thank you, Valkyrie, for the follow. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm actually, I mean, oh, Jesus, God. Oh, everything hurts. Everything actually hurts. It took you all this time to realize Western civilization is fat. No, I, this is the final nail in the coffin. I believed it ages ago, but this is just actually the worst. Of, like, the only redeeming factor of today, right? There are two, one and a half redeeming factors of today. The first redeeming factor is that the only, like, nicety of this was Ganglio Gan. Here's the first, like, redeeming factor. Eastern Civilization, by the way. Nice kid. I just had something die in the other room. I think she's okay. But yeah. <clears throat> um, second redeeming factor is Bunny. But then again, that could be it could be just as bad, if not worse, if something goes wrong there. But yeah. Very scary. You can watch me kill Taras on your It's not happening today. No, no. Wind wall. Woo! That's the thing, like, Malzahar does fine into Yasuo purely because there's nothing to wind wall. But the problem is, if you keep using Q the way you're using it, you're not going to come away with anything here. That guy's name is Mr. Fluffy Waffles. Horrible. You can win more the AA. Woof. That strong AA. <clears throat> 
Imagine clicking the level up abilities. Look, we've been over this a thousand times and it does not get any better every time we talk about it. Free shard. You keep casting it this early. You really think it's going to get any easier for you to do? I just want you to hit EW Ignite and, and Ulti at the same time on the, on the Yasuo. That's what I want. It's not going to happen, but that's what I want. Well, at least you did it without using Ignite. And both of you missed the cannon just to top it off. Oh. I just don't have the muscle memory to not click abilities. It's not as hard as you think it is. Also, yeah, your E doesn't do enough damage to actually kill a minion off the bat unless you actually can dematerialize it. Oh no, he's stuck on a minion. Oh boy. mental boom. How many times a fucking day is that going to happen? How much do they pay for review? These are free, bro. That, there's no claim, you fucking dumbasses. There's no claim... It's it's someone trolling you, you fucking ape. Oh, I think I need a new mod. I think I feel like a couple of my mods have actually just lost their brains today. Is this a deep ward? Ooh, nice. <laughs> I didn't have one to begin with. Yeah, all right, Vane Main. All right, I get it. It's fine. Don't remind us. Might as well tell us you're vegan next. Oh, so today I don't think I have one either. Look, that's totally okay. I do move on to this way. Yes, you do, man. If you're in the... <clears throat> If you're in the Discord now, the, the criteria is there. Just follow the criteria, then DM it all to me. And hopefully, they're a little easier to deal with than these games. Ignite him! Yeah, say, if you ignite him before he goes to town on you, I would be really fucking nervous otherwise, but you're not going to get away from this without boots. Or aiming a Q, apparently. If you aimed your Q and then hit E&W, you might have traded. Fuck. Wait, what, what words did he utter? I'm a Siver main. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't mind me, Siver player coming through. All right, calm it down. Ignite is slightly less range than R, and it can cancel it, so I was worried. I've done it before. I guess a lot of Mia pings. I mean, the fact that you flashed in at range to get to that, you were close enough, I'm sure. But, like, since you actually primed it to check, I'm glad you checked. Super bad, keep it to one line or you cop a 10 minute. Bitch. Chat's going way too fast now. The spam is unreal. Do we have to get our re's ready? You might have to at this rate. This is getting nasty. You can't auto it with the wind wall there, chief. That was a stupid idea. What elo is this? Plat 2. What IQ is he? M negative a million. I don't know, man. It's it's hard to figure out at this point. Oh! If your Aerie was up, that would have killed him. How unfortunate. Pretty sure if Aerie was up, that would have killed him. That's a bit unfortunate. It was up. It took him to fire. Oh, it did it? I thought I thought he just came back to him. Hang on. i got to go back and check that. Are you sure? i got to check this. Oh, it is up. Oh. Ouch. That's unfortunate. Then again, if he wasn't CSing so poorly and actually wasn't inting early game, he'd probably have Sork Boots by now, so he could have killed him. Feels bad. 
Feels fucking bad. Alright, I think I did it right. Hang on, let me just check the squad. I need your runes, Chief. Your runes are missing. Don't quit your day job. Good idea. There's no claim. <laughs> Fucking. Can you stop confusing the new people in my chat? Jokes on you, I already quit it. Did you even have a job in the first place, super bad? Or are you super bad at jobs too? You know, I'm not even sure you needed to ult Darius there, but I'm glad it happened. You, d you needed to die. I've had a job before, what do you mean? I mean in the first place, like I mean since, you know, since quitting said day job previously. Chat is brain damage. 420 score! Yeah, yeet! Vega, have you bought a control ward this game? Since the one you lost? Haha, <laughs> that Nami sucks. Yike. Am I doing another video? Probably not. I think, I think I've got too much of a headache after these first three games. You know my situation. Yes, I know. That's what makes the joke funny. But only, only we get it. Everyone else, it just looks savage. <laughs> to everyone else, it just looks like I'm savaging the shit out of you. Everyone sends sent nudes. Wait, why is he? Oh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, sent! Someone give sent a sub, literally. I damn you nudes. Well, never mind. Enya gave him nudes. I guess it's okay now. Please buy a ward this time. I beg you, please. Please buy a ward. Don't buy a tier 1 item. Sell that potion. Get the ward. Get the ward. Get the fucking ward. Get the fucking... Baggy band. Permanently. Mate, no worries, Thurk. Have a nice night, mate. Gio with enduring this. Give me your energy before you leave, please. Thank you. Oh. You know what? This is going to be one of those games I'm going to wait till the end of to give a properly proper explanation because I think I just need my brain to like cool down. It's been a very hard set. Jesus. The Nami. Oh my god, the Nami! Bunny, is that you? <laughs> he yelled out mercy, please, in chat. 420 is my birthday, just not today. Kick. Well, we all waste the time saying happy birthday to you, so cool anyway. Wasn't this supposed to be a redeeming it? Yeah, look, the only redeeming factor happens to be the Nami again, so we're just going to roll with it, okay? <clears throat> Alright, I added an image on my runes. I hope that's acceptable. I will check it again now. That appears to be correct. I will check it after the game to make sure the video is okay, and then I will add you to the queue. It's in 420 Hitler's birthday. Was I lied to you? Why the fuck would you care? Guy's dead. For 60 years. And no one liked him anyway. I go on cam with you, super bad. Don't worry. No worries. Thanks. Is there a way to see how long the queue is? Uh, subscribing lets you see the queue. It's a perk for the subs. Oh, is this the, is this the go in? You know what? It's just in pure terms of picking and team fighting, you guys are doing amazingly now. But I think the part that's actually bugging me is that it took this long to actually get to this point, just purely because you guys were getting absolutely shafted in lane phase. So I'm glad you guys have actually decided to play the map better rather than you're playing the lane better. But yeah, be mindful. It's only going to result in worse things happening if you get stuck. Can I purge super baddie spam? Good idea. There will be a purging. Did you just say P2 in all chat? Vega, you're such a toxic shithead. Purge my message. It's one message, actually. You cannot time out moderator super bad. Do you all want to get banned? I feel like all of you are going to get banned. I want to ban all my mods. some boost bros. Vega, I will boost you into a fucking wall, you understand? Come oh! Get some. Whoa! Whoa! Oh god, it's happening. Oh, what's happening? Oh, Jesus, the team fight's happening too. Everything's Come happening. Get some. Oh god, my ears. Ah! It's all happening! Maybe I do have to go longer today. Wait, is Sturk still here? Come get some. Fuck my ears. Shit's not updating! Hang on. Hang on. Come get some! 
All right. I will give my thanks. Thank you, RS Twist, for gifting five subs to old McDonald. Come get Ma- some. McDonald Doe. McDonald Doe. There we go. Got it right. To Slidger it, to Champs, Squeeze, Barmy, and Rackets. Thank you very much. Also, Rackets gets the... So, so, uh, pfft, fuck, my English is not brilliant today. Rackets gets his bronze bin off of that. Mitchell love and appreciation. Welcome, everyone, to the Binhead Army. If this is the first time that you're here, be sure to link your stuff to Discord. Be sure to enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your time. F your ears. You know there's a fetish for that. They're definitely not happening. Wait, he gave subs to the people that are not subbed and type claim. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Three of them aren't even here, dude. One of them even left Discord. So you don't even know that this is the case. They're just stuck figuring this out. No one type claim doesn't even mean shit. I'm not familiar with how it works, but thanks. Basically, if you go into the Discord and you link your account to Twitch, it gives you the opportunity to do it. Next person to type claim gets banned. Every single one of you are banned. Congratulations. I got it, (laughs) T.Y. You're all horrible. Vega gets a clam, everyone else gets banned. Also, dead Caitlyn. I'm glad you're maintaining your distance, but you can't dodge shit, Vega. Ugh. Clams would kill me. That's unfortunate. Clams are about to kill Twist, though. Twist, unless you're handing out another five subs, I will actually kill you for spamming that. The death is happening. You are all going to cop it. Every single one of you. You can't even type claim. Never like shellfish anyway. That's cool. I'm fucking hungry now at the thought of it. Maim? Let's maim people. I'm down for some maiming. Mouse hit the I'll play button. Congratulations on hitting the I'll play button, Vega. I'm done, but enjoy the sauce. No worries, Twist. Thanks, man. Thanks much, Lee. Also, I saw Pot Noodle jump in to remind me that I'm bald. Thanks, dickhead. I wasn't aware. Hey, sure. See, you befriend the people you flame at the start, and how I've never had a warning. How did you befriend him, though? You were literally, like, being a dick to your teammates, and then you told the other guy that is apparently a smurf to go fuck himself. How does that work? He's only follower as well. Thank you, Ludex, for following. Shelf is out often develop in late teens. Well, lucky for me, I'm 30. So all I'm allergic to now is you guys. Because you're killing my brain. Slowly. <clears throat> you missed the old chat chatter. Fuck that. I ain't gonna watch the rest of that shit. You know how toxic that shit was? It's horrible. You could have saved me wasting my Twitch Prime. No, you fucking... You use your Twitch Prime and you support this goddamn stream, Pot Noodle. I'm not about to keep hearing your crappy jokes without you supporting this stream. Also, I don't know why you guys are fighting in a, like, compressed space like this. I don't think that was a good idea at all. You... Both you and Hecarim just entered so hard there, and you didn't even actually have the, the brains to ulti the Caitlyn? You shouldn't be fighting in such a compressed area for that, because it would just get you killed. Why? Them gifted subs are a one-time payment, right? One-time payment for what? Oh no, you don't re- you don't renew them. No, <laughs> you don't automatically renew them if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> Imagine if like you just suddenly started automatically renewing every single sub you paid for. <laughs> That'd be tough. This guy was kind enough to give me a bag icon. It's a bin, bro. You can check the queue if you link your account to Discord. It'll automatically update you uh, within the hour. So it'll work automa- it'll work then. Both my mid self root. Imagine that. Imagine having a self rooting ulti that you can't. Uh, at least one of them aims itself for you, though. B 
But yeah, the bot does it every hour. If it has issues, let me know and I will like I will either show you how to do it or you just it will just <clears throat> work automatically from there. Oh, has all the hype died down? Are we okay now, chat? Are we safe? But yeah, when the sub runs out, it will go away, obviously. So the idea to obviously keep the perks is to keep subbing. What do I hit the link? Go into your Discord options, the settings, and go to connections and connect it to your Twitch account. Would you agree in general I need to work more on my early laning phase? Your CS still needs a stupid amount of work, dude. But I think in regards to matchups like Yasuo, you shouldn't be like trying to lead with Q almost ever. If the guy walks up onto you, you can just E, W, and Q him there, and that will stop him on the spot, and you can just try and walk back, and you'll be safe. Sub to record burn. Seems alright to me. Also, Vega, if you're worried about, like, some matchups, I'd suggest taking Unsealed Spellbook and starting with Teleport, and then just, like, changing it around to the other stuff. Oh god, here comes the ARAM. Here comes the Aram of Destiny chat. Sub to wreck or go to heck. <laughs> oh, it's so bad, but it works. Wow. Mate, I could go a sub fucking starving. You could. You haven't landed a single Q from this poke. Oh no. I mean, the good news is that if Hecarim actually ulted anyone useful, this would have been okay. Oh, there you go. He actually ulted the good one. Nice work, Vega. You finally ulted someone useful. He tried to QSS it. Eh. You can't do Baron. By Nami, you'll be missed. Under my Nami, live just. Hecarim is not even there. Imagine if fucking. I <laughs> say, imagine if Karthus comes in and kills it now. This is what inting looks like, chat. Trying to add the last three times in a row now. It's wait for 30 minutes. Love it when people intentionally lock in a role they're not even assigned. You having fun there, SBO? Good. Watching my fireplace over this. Seems like a good idea, honestly. I mean, truthfully, it looks exactly the same. You know, shit's burning. What was Heck even doing? Pushing mid, apparently. Could have actually just taken Baron. Not entirely sure why no one did, but you know. Using one's brain is difficult. What elo is this? Welcome Brad Draven to the Rose. Uh, this is Plat 2. I mean, didn't Hecarim tell everyone before that he was Diamond 2 and now he's Plat 2? Like, fuck. Like I said, chat, Western Civilization has fucking failed. We are the last hope, chat. This is it. I am the final frontier of Western Civilization. I just blind altered once I saw Janet up hitting four people, so we take those team fights. I mean, yeah, sure, but what, what, what objectives do you take after that, Mr. Hecarim? Uh, so you don't have Renekton with you. I wouldn't really be trying to go for this. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Nice poke, but don't do it. 26 minutes in and still early Andrews. I mean, to be fair, he's almost got it. Third item spike coming up any moment now. Except his early laning phase was so freaking horrendous that it made me want to die. He only has... The guy is not the thing. Does he have the money for it? It's close. I don't know why the hell he spent ulti on a fucking... Why does he keep spending the ulti on the person that's not the guy that needs to die? Same with you. I mean, you probably needed the peel there, which is not, probably not a bad thing, but... Have you not aid anyone this fight? Whatever. I don't even care anymore. You guys just trolled. I like how both sides are literally just talking in all chat like fucking morons, and it's like, oh, <laughs> saving my army. I mean, yeah, that probably was an okay idea. I wish you had the Andrews going into this, but you know, reasons. Also, their Carthus is alive, and if Carthus ults you, you might be in a bit of trouble.
You still get Baron though, because Karthus isn't interested in, in trying to kill you guys. Worked out. I right click Baron to see my 8 buff timer. Nice. Nice. Alright, items were bought. Late stage Morello. Cool. Let me guess, you kept waiting. Cooldowns, also in Leandro's recipe is like 750. It is 750, yeah. I forgot about the cost. Alright, I connected the accounts. What do I click to see this key? Alright, uh, just give it <clears throat> give it an hour to update. It updates automatically. The bot the bot's integrated into Discord. I will tell you this though, I do get this all done within a week, so it won't be too much trouble. But yeah, the bot is a little bit finicky. If it still has issues by the by like tomorrow, let me know. And I will fix it. By fix it, I mean I will just mash the resync button until it actually fucking works. Are you okay with my build, by the way? a super new wave player. I like to get the chance to win the Rylas and go from there. I mean, I would rather you just complete Ludens purely because of the fact that, like, the damage output you get is amazing. But chapter into Rylas into Leandries isn't particularly bad. You do need to farm faster, though. Uh, in connections of your settings. Hecarim just into... Never mind. He lived. Oh, never mind. He dead. Could you have altered literally anyone else there and it would have been okay? Yes. Oh, the cube. Nice. Did Yas really just ult me? Now, what a fucking game this was. Bizarre cake. Yes. I see you in my DMs. <sighs> wow. So my mouse is better than Vegathron, right, Rek? That it'll look. There is potential on both sides. I feel like if we crammed the both of you in together, we might actually make a decent plat player. But, you know. <clears throat> you would have lived the heck I didn't waste all the It's probably true. <laughs> want me, want me. <laughs> what is that in the bottom left corner? This. It's an Asmongold video. Is that what you're referring to? I don't watch them, but they're there. His face is whack. It's Asmongold. What do you expect? I got it connected. Nice. Nice work, chat. All right. Skill build's fine. I still would have recommended going W second just purely because he wanted to all in you front up. I don't know who that is. It's a wow YouTuber slash streamer. Alright. I'm glad you sold the refillable pot early. I'm glad you got most of the components for your items. I'm still mad that you didn't buy a ward in this particular back, but, you know, you will learn. Uh, 14 wards with 5 control wards in a 30 minute game. That's pretty fucking abysmal, if I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Considering you were on Yellow Trinket the entire game, you definitely needed to do it. Definitely needed to have more involved there. I'm just... I think I'm just mortified at the fact that your entire early lane phase was literally thrown away by the fact that you just tried that hard to int. Like, I can't even say you tried hard to win. I actually feel like we're at a point where the entire fucking time during lane phase, instead of just actually playing the lane, you were more focused on actually biting the dick of your jungler. Like, you were actually that mad at your jungler that you were pretending to be nice to him at first and then were ready to actually just go in on him. And I'm just, I don't even care by this point. But I don't get what the fuck you were aiming to do in regards to almost every single trade you did in lane without wards, without brains, without the effective trading like ideas, and without just plain out going home when you needed to. Fuck me, dude. Why? Why? Ugh. Oh, so it's like 60 CS down from Yas, even though he has the better way of clear. Yeah, look, we're a bit obvious on this. Watch that foul gank, though. I swear I couldn't auto again without Yas turning. I mean, even if you autoed and you got the trade, it's still kind of worth it. But it, on any space that you were at, if you space away from the minions and go for that auto, it's a win. Like, you both failed miserably in that gank. Don't get me wrong. You're both fucking morons. But it could have still come away, even if it was a traded kill, 
it was wor- it was going to be somewhat worth it more than both of you just completely losing out. You think Heck would catch a no summons one HP? Uh, yeah, but Hecarim doesn't have the summoners to do that without killing himself. So yeah. Oh fuck that hurt. All of that hurt. Also, boots biscuits might have actually saved you in lane. If I'm being honest with you, and not having to waste that money on boots might have saved you as well. But you know, that's just me talking. Oh, fucking hell. He's going to have a ball with my dumb ass. Look, man, everyone says so, but these, these people that I'm roasting like this hard are people that are regulars here, so they kind of deserve it at this point. <laughs> it's been a hard, been a hard fucking day to start off with, but yeah. First guy today I was nice to, and because he's like the most like pure and innocent individual that's ever come here, even though people keep corrupting him, looking at you, pot noodle. Fucking hell. <sighs> Why risk the trade, you feel me? I mean, even if it gets you jungler ahead and like gets you some sort of like semblance in lane, I wouldn't have even minded. It. It's just, I would rather you not int. I would rather you not miss the opportunity and I would rather you just play the lane effectively. But you know. Can't even roast me. Says who? Bitch. Fuck you up. J4 wasn't innocent noodle. He was. I'm barely making mistakes. You don't fucking lie to yourself too much, dude. You might believe it. Can't roast if you don't submit a VOD 900. Like yeah, look, you might be onto something there. Hundred and seven three CS is pretty bad, not gonna lie for a twenty seven game. Fuck you reckon. What's that per minute? Not high enough. Let's go with that. Same with the wards. Ugh. I don't know. You you got like playing Malzahar Hurry mid late is not particularly difficult. Just finding the right Oh, yeah, you gotta stop ulting Darius. Like just until you get the Andrews, maybe, but just a lot of particular things not worth it. Better things. Better things to ult you. I'm glad you remembered to ulti Caitlyn during that fight that got you Baron, though, so that was pretty cool. But yeah. Almost anyone else was a better target on their team. I missed Malzahar middle. It's fine. It wasn't worth it. Your head will hurt afterwards, believe me. I have to run it down Tyler One style to get even close. Yeah, look, maybe. EW, go AFK. I mean, in Vegas case, you just miss Q 18 times and then hit R and E at the same time and hope for the best. I think that, I think that does it for today, chat. I think I've deafened Lana with my craziness, so I'm going to go and take care of her for the rest of the day. Poor girl. Oh, she's home sick today, and she had to listen to me lose my shit at you, ingrates. So, <laughs> tough times. Rex, show my 1v5 on stream and let me flex. No. Rex, do you want a mid-vod from me? It'd be flex Q and awful. Sure. Why not? Be a good laugh. Anyway, thank you to everyone that followed today. Thank you to Vec and Pot Noodle for subbing. Thank you to RS Twist for gifting five subs to those people. Welcome everyone that's new. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves today. It was a bit of a short one today, just purely because uh, we had a couple of issues with the first video and the other problem being that I'm very tired, and very ill, and I probably should take the rest of the day off and I've got to take Carolina, who is also very sick. Hey, I said it too. What's this kid jumping the gun for? Like fucking Twist, I will box you. With this busted hand. Now, that said, uh, for streams, if anyone cares about World of Warcraft, I might start streaming that in the next, in the coming weeks. I'm not entirely sure like, if you guys would like it, but maybe. Um, usual roast stream goes on tomorrow, as per usual. Don't even worry about it. It's coming back. Yeah, roast will be back tomorrow. FF15? With what servers? I just don't want to, I don't want to sit here with fucking 200 ping. Unsubbing on following. You don't even fucking... Su- you don't even go here. Thank you for all the tips. Amazing code. Oh, you're a sweetheart, gang Leo. But yeah, thank you everyone that came today. We'll um we'll continue with the roast tomorrow. As usual, same time. See you all there. Hope you all are ready for the good times. Uh, if you're brand new and you want to get a VOD in or you want to actually like learn about the good stuff, just pop yourself into the into the Discord. Get in the, the criteria. Have a read of it. And then catch me in the DMs. 
I'm not ready for tomorrow's what? Yes, you are. You know exactly what's coming tomorrow, Sant. Don't even lie. But yeah, if you care about social media at all, you can follow me on those. It's about to get absolutely fucking crazy. But yeah, hope to see everyone here tomorrow. It's going to be more roasting goodness. I'm going to lose a lot of brain cells. Hope you're ready for some laughs. Love you all, folks. See you tomorrow. And of course, best to you. Bye-bye.